at that. Look at that. Uh, good evening. Final video. Got the receiver. Yippee. Thank you, John. And micro aces. Now I'm going to install it. Tested it. It works beautifully. So I've stuck the foam on the bottom of the receiver unit. Just going to lay it in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dangle it down first and then uh, decide on the exact position. It's got to go back a little bit so as you can plug in the motor. But at the same time, the further back it goes, the more it's going to affect the centre of gravity. Next step is to connect up the push rods. And the technique is insert individual control wire from the rear and attach to appropriate control horn. Set control surface to neutral, which I've already done. Use slim or long nose needle pliers, bend the end of coil wire at the point it will need to attach to the servo arm. Unhook, bend, trim, frame to get it right out the front, like that. Okay. Alright! Push rod is actually sitting. That's better. Okay, let's hook it up at the back. See how accurate it was. It's not too bad. Right, I'm going to stop the video there and do the other half of uh, the rudder. So, thanks for looking in as usual, and we'll get this beauty flying tomorrow if it's the last thing I do. Micro Aces Newport 17. Let's try. And she flies. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. She flies beautifully. Let's try right hand turn. Ooh, oops. <laughs> that was a bit close. Look at that. Look at that. What a maiden. Getting dizzy now. <laughs> Oops. was a maiden flight and uh, pretty pleased with that so micro races Newport 17 and very successful <laughs>